I was doing well in that game and I was probably a bit too hasty in trying to convert it. Let me see what he's got in mind here. I'll go d3. Just try and play normal sort of close Spanish position. C3 now. Uh, and th yeah, this is what Shigirov did against me in the previous match, but without the pawn on b5. And in that game, I think I ended up castling queenside. And my point is now that after he's actually gone b5, then queenside castling is less of an option. So that should be favorable for me. I don't know if I'm playing this too accurately. Uh, oh, 97. That's very surprising. I guess I'll take oh, knight h4. I don't think that was called for at all. Knight g6, I got queen h5. Looks, the, looks very, very promising for me. Yeah, queen h5 now. King d7, yeah. But this is... This is, I think, not very good. Have to be precise, though. He, he's got queen g5. So logical option is just to go g3, queen g5, drop the queen back. Have I got anything better? Go knight f5, queen g5. No, I think I'm just going to go g3. Drop the queen. If he takes, I take. I feel like I still got some... Some pressure. Hmm. Yeah, knight of three maybe intending d4. Queen g6. He anticipates that. Okay, so I'm gonna try and be more clever. Go d4 now. If ED, I'm going knight of three and then CD. And then he's still got queen g6. This check on b5 is nothing special. So probably ED, I gotta go CD, which was sort of my backup option. Then bishop d4, knight of three, queen c5. Maybe you can, you can make that work tactically. Certainly thinking a lot now. Sure, these are some of the things he's considering. Yeah, so. Okay, I guess I should take. Bishop d4, knight of three, queen c5. I don't really see what to do though. I guess I can castle or take d4. Four, but then I gotta protect e4 as well. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just gonna castle f e3 and then I got a square on I got a square on d4 as well. Rook c1 coming. I think position is not gonna be too easy for him to play. So I take Go knight d4, I guess. He's probably gonna go c5. Then I try and kick kick his queen with a3. Hmm. Yeah, rook f6 is very tempting. C d4, queen g4. Yeah, this looks very good. Yeah, it's going to be hard pressed to to defend this, especially with so little time. Yeah, he tries to go for some counterplay, but I don't think it's going to work out. I could be wrong. Rook c7 threatens mate on two squares. Yeah, king g2, queen e2, rook f2. That's going to be game over. Yeah, this is mate. 
Okay. Even the score, very important. Not good. Okay, let me try this again. Feels like a decent enough choice against him. Okay, so he goes he goes for a different system now. Guess I'm just gonna play it pretty slowly. Okay, knight of one. So he's going for this plan. He wants to go Maybe go knight d4, I'm not sure. Anyway, with knight g3, I'm preventing knight h5, so actually getting f5 is a bit more difficult for him. Okay, so I could take, also I could go cd. Yeah, let me just go cd, fills. Feels a bit easier to play. Bishop d7, I'm probably, oh, I'm just completely blind. What am I even doing? I'm just completely missing that I got the threat of cd and then bishop a3 winning the exchange. That's just no good at all. Yeah. Bishop b5, a4. He has no good square for the bishop, so bishop c6, d, e, if knight d7, I got d4, knight g4, I also got d4 kicking his bishop again. So this is what he has to do, but still, d, e, knight g4, d4, d5, h3, I think I'm just winning. He's gonna try and muddy the waters some way, but I don't really see it. Yeah, knight d4 just didn't work, which was lucky for me since that's not something I'd spotted from, from afar, but it's not that big a surprise. I can just go bishop g5, right? Yeah, f6, I take bishop f6. Just bishop h6, right? Bishop a1. Okay, this is going to be over very, very soon. Knight e4. e6. Just so many winning moves. Don't even want to allow King F7 though. He's gonna resign. Okay, evening the score again, but this 